Welcome everybody to another episode of Smart Robots Review. This is a very special episode. I have Trey with me and Caitlin. And today we're going to go over the Code Lab application that comes with Cosmo. Let's get started. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews consumer robotics and fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias, and as promised, we're back with another show about Cosmo, and specifically about Code Lab. And Code Lab is the recent update to the Cosmo app that allows you to program Cosmo to perform certain tasks, like picking up objects, maneuvering around objects, even recognizing faces. So I have Trey and Caitlin to help me today. So let's see how they did. That will wake him up. That's how I wake up, Hydra. Just kidding. All right, so we start off with Tree and Caitlin trying to figure out how to use Code Lab for the very first time without any assistance. Wait, how do I make a new one? So, slightly left. All the way left says new project. Oh, I didn't even see that. There you go. Okay, right. so what are we going to do? So you just connect it. Oh yeah, we did. So like, what is it called? Like code lab or something like that? Yeah, yeah we did this in, um, I think it was library, right? Yeah, we did like, just, we did this with mine. Test it out. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, stop from here. See what he does. So he has a lot of room. And if you, if it's about to like go over, you can press the red button when it stops. Why does he like go and then stop? Go and because stop. it's the next one. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit and see what Trey is actually looking at. These are called tiles, and each tile contains a command. Each command can be executed by Cosmo if instructed to do so. All right, Cat. My name is Cosmo. Cosmo, there we go. I like that. My name is Cosmo. That's so cool. I love that. That's great. My name is Cosmo. Now I'm gonna make him lift it up. Hold on, let me see. Oh, move it down. I can move it up. Here we go. Nicely done. Now Trey is going to modify his program to have Cosmo find a cube and then lift it. Now drive to cube and lift the cube and lift this way. Yeah, lift up. Here, he'll, find, he'll find it. That's the fly game. So you made him move forward, left, forward, right? Oh, it didn't find the cube. Here we go. And then he talks. He didn't find the cube, he skipped over it. Now he's he the cube. What is he supposed to do with it? He's supposed to lift it up. Aha. Ta da! Nice. Yeah. Oh, go. Oh, no wonder. Oh, you can tell how many steps to take or how many turns so, to make. So, no wonder he just keeps. He stops. Like, there we go. That works. There you go. But you can type in a number. Do 100. How many? Well, that's a lot. Okay. That's a like thousand. That. We'll just keep going. Okay, yeah, let's All do right, a hundred. Let's, let's just do a hundred and see what happens. A hundred? Yeah. Oh, nine, you can nine. Nine. Oh, well. Just not yet. Go, 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 go! Probably gonna have to stop it. Press the red button! Ah! Ah! 
<laughs> All right, let's try it low. Do it backwards. Oh, backwards? Backwards. Can you do it backwards? Yeah. Yeah, there's a backwards option. Let's try a lower number, like 50. 50 yeah. Here we go. Go, guys, now go. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> you have to put something in there. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So that's nice. What does that do? Just repeat it, I guess. Hold on, let's. It does it over and over again. Let's make sure. Let's do a circle. It's a module and a module. Oh, do a circle. All right, let's make sure. I think that's supposed to be a loop. Yeah, it yeah. goes around and around. Perfect. And then this one just, you can type in how many times you want to do it, but this one just keeps going. <laughs> so you're stuck in the loop. Yeah. You're probably getting bored. Welcome to programming, kids. <laughs> All right, so what are, we, what are we gonna make them do now? So you get the idea. You are building a sequence of commands for Cosmo to execute. The tiles are easy to drag, and they snap together to form the sequence. And with little experimentation, Code Lab seems to be easy to learn. In fact, Trey and Caitlin had it figured out in 15 minutes. Walk me through how this works. So, at the bottom of the screen, there are little buttons. Those are the different programming material you can use, so the drives, action, animations, events, and controls. Drive is basically like forward, backwards, go right, go left, and find the block, so. Okay. And then the actions, move his little, move his little crane, look up, look down. His lift. Mm hmm Change the, change the color, so right now it's gonna be red. Oh, hold on. It's red, now I'm gonna change it to blue. Then change it to a mystery color. It's a mystery color. Yellow. Animations are like his emotions. He can, <laughs> he can imitate a dog, cat, pretending to sneeze. And, and there's also this is also the mystery one just does something random. So right now, I did the mystery. <laughs> So this is the loop. You put something in here, and then it loop. repeats it. Mm -hmm. And if you put it in this one, you can tell it how many times to do it. So, oh, I got everything connected. So I'm gonna tell it to move forward four times, and it should do this. Yeah, just move forward four times. And then you should repeat it. No, because it's not this one. Yeah, oh. it's the other one. Then it will go. Then it will just pe keep repeating itself. Here, this. Just keeps going. Forever and ever. And they even gave you a sample one to like show you what it's about. If I can get it here, do like just this one. Tap a cue for mystery animation. Let's see what this is. Tap it. <laughs> Why did it sneeze? <laughs> It's a mystery animation. Battery low, battery low. That was a lot of fun to see. Trey and Caitlin programmed Cosmo to do all those fun things with Code Lab. Great job. So what did we learn? Trey and Caitlin, very smart kids. The application seems to be intuitive, easy to learn, uses those tiles and you can snap them together to create simple sequential type programming, which I think is the trend right now with other robots in the industry they use that same technique. I think Anki can release another update for that application and make it even more interesting for the kids to use. And maybe add some more 
tutorials in the application. The application itself has some simple tutorials and some sample programs for kids to use to learn. But I think you can do more. So I like to see that. So what did you guys think? I'd love to hear your feedback, your opinions. Was this a helpful tutorial uh, overview of CodeLab? Let us know down below. Also, thank you, Trey and Caitlin. You guys did a great job. And until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.